Well, let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, which is indeed vast as the ocean. We thank you that each one of us is precious in your sight, loved unconditionally, each with a place in your kingdom and a contribution to make to the church. Help us all identify our own individual role through your Holy Spirit. Help us to work together to grow your kingdom here in our place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for our benefice, for all saints Norton Fitzwarren and for St John Staplegrove. Thank you for the communities that we are and the communities that we serve. And as we continue to move into a new season with relaxed restrictions so we pray that you would grant us wisdom in doing so wisely to make the most of our freedom and yet to remain safe we thank you for the new opportunities that lie before us we continue to pray for our bible course meeting this week for the second time that it will be a source of growth for those who are doing it we do pray for the pop-up messy church on the 26th and for all the activities not least the outdoor services that we have planned Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord we pray for the world this weekend as the G7 summit takes place in Cornwall so we pray for wisdom that your Holy Spirit will infuse that conference that the discussions and decisions will be guided by you and made according to your values. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for our local communities, for our schools, especially within our benefice for Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren Primary Schools, for the ways in which we continue to enjoy good links, we pray for the teachers, the staff, the volunteers, governors, and especially the pupils. And we pray too for our medical people, for our hospitals, our nurses, our doctors' surgeries, thanking you for the continued rollout of the vaccines and asking that you would equip them with all that they need to look after us. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those known to us who suffer in body, mind or spirit, bringing before you those known to us who are sick, and whom we name in our hearts. Lord, we bring before you too those who grieve, especially this week, the friends and families of Bertie Quick and of Jack Manley whose funeral and interment have taken place respectively. And we ask that you would grant all of these people strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves, granting that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit as we look to serve you faithfully and obediently here in our place as part of your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we conclude our prayers in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we believe. forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so to our final song, I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene. <laughs> 